this is deer tenderloin this is not but we're going to turn it into something just as good these are two muscles that i cut out of the hind quarters of a deer so they would be the equivalent of like a eye round off beef so a pretty tough cut of meat uh, just going to dry brine these for a few hours in the fridge just salt pepper and garlic powder now I'm cooking these sous vide, so the dry brine is not 100% necessary, but it's going to help dry out that skin because I'm going to do a pre-sear on these. So here we are about eight hours later. So I've got this pan really hot with some bacon grease in it. Just going to hit these one to one and a half minutes per side. Make sure I get all the edges. The main reason I'm doing this is just to make sure that there isn't any surface bacteria on these pieces of meat that could survive at lower cook temperatures over the course of 24 hours because that's how long we're cooking this thing. As you can see, this is still very rare. I just cooked the outside. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum seal up these roast steaks that I've got going and we are going to go ahead and get them in the Instant Pot at 129 degrees and the timer will only let you put 20 hours in. So what I did is the next morning when I woke up, I just added four hours to the timer. Welcome to the future, guys. It's been 24 hours. We're gonna pat these things dry and put a sear on them. Since I have two basically identical pieces of meat here, I thought, why not do a little experiment? Cause the internet says you should do this. This first one is just seared off in bacon grease, you know, a minute, two minutes per side, just till I get some color on it. And the second one, hope you're sitting down, which you probably are because you're probably watching a YouTube video. Um, mayonnaise, yes. I took some mayonnaise and I brushed all over the outside of this, seared it about a minute aside, and that crust came out perfect. I will probably never go back to not searing steaks in mayonnaise after this. All right, so let's see how we did on these. If you have not cooked anything sous vide yet, I beg you to look at this this is absolute perfection edge to edge medium rare and it's like I didn't even have to do anything I stuck it in a bag stuck it in water and set it and then went away for a day it's just wow but how tender is it 24 hours how tender is it well spoon yes a freaking spoon thanks for watching guys hope you all enjoyed